were very intelligent girls. We knew that if they can't stop our first option, why would we go to a second option? Cheryl Swoops was the most dominant player in women's college basketball. Swoops. Oh. Cheryl is as good as any female that I have seen in women's basketball. And I'm talking Cheryl Miller, Lynette Woodard. I'm talking about the greats of the game. Swoops with a turnaround and she's on fire. For a while, I, I don't think there's any question Cheryl was the best player in the world. One of the best to ever play. She did everything. It, it seemed to her effortless because it was just smooth and she was so athletic. Nobody uh, like her and really I haven't seen anybody like her since. In my opinion, she was, she was the greatest female player that I have ever seen. No doubt about it. I'd like to thank the WBCA and champion for like to me and the community here, it means a lot to me. Thank you. I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, she had it. Uh, she was amazing. It's one thing to have the talent, then it's another thing to develop it. It's another thing to live with it every day the way she had to at that level and know, by and large, we'll go as far as I go on a national scene. First of all, she's a tremendous athlete. And the second thing, she's a great competitor. I have coached players who are as good athletes as Cheryl, but I have never coached one that had the mentality that whatever it took to win, she was about that. She was never the diva, if you will. I mean, when it came down to practice, I guarantee you one thing, no one worked harder than she did. I got to guard her every day during practice, and I think that's what made me the player that I ended up being, but uh, she worked so hard, she didn't make it um, all about her. And, I'm, and that's a lot of pressure, and that's, that's something that falls on great players, but she handled it. They believed in her so much, but she was also all about not letting them down. Teammates tend to get overlooked at times or overshadowed, but to me, it was always bigger than me. It was about my team. None of us were jealous. None of us even thought about, um, you know, saying that we were just a one-man team even. I mean, I know we got that a lot that year. I remember answering that question a ton about her you know, being the one, but but she was so gracious and of us and knowing that she had to have us if we were going to win this team sport. Somebody had to make the passes. Somebody had to play defense. Somebody had to be good enough to demand being guarded on the perimeter or in the post. You know, all those things had to happen in order for her to have the ability to do what she did. And it, it's all too easy to forget what was going on around her and her understanding of that and the rest of the team's understanding of, of, I hate to say role players because it sounds like it denigrates what they did, and it, it wasn't. They all had an equal job. She just got the points because she was really good at that.